Now I'm excited to welcome the CFTC's one of their newest commissioners, Caroline Pham. Caroline, congratulations on being a CFTC commissioner in four weeks on the job now. Coming to your first AGM, welcome. Thank you, thanks so now, much. You and I worked together at the CFTC, then you had a great career at Citi where you got to see the gritty underbelly of financial banking and sorting out how to implement the regulations. What do you take away from those years at, C uh, at Citi? You know, Scott, I think it's so important that I got to spend time in not only compliance, legal, regulatory affairs, and market structure roles, because I think I really went and saw the whole way around from all different angles and perspectives. And so the fact that I was there at the commission working with you uh, when they were implementing the Dodd-Frank rules, and then had to go over to the other side and then actually you know, implement the rules from that perspective, operationalize them. And how do you think about compliance and controls? How do you think about risk management? But how do you also allow the business to grow and thrive? I think that's a really delicate balancing act. And I think that that perspective from having been hands-on doing the implementation work is going to make me a better regulator. I've seen what's good. I've seen what's bad and doesn't work. And you know, taking all that together, hopefully coming up with something that's more future-proofed. All right. So I set it up only four weeks on the job. But what are your priorities for the CFTC? So I think, again, it's so important to think about first principles. As a regulator, what is the CFTC's mission and what are our first principles? And so for me, again, informed by my experience, you know, being out in the private sector, I think it's gonna be so critical that we think about having clear rules of the road. Clear rules of the road means that markets work best when there are clear and simple rules with common standards and common solutions. And I think that's why it's really great to engage with ISDA and other industry forums where you do have the industry thinking about some solutions and proposing those to the regulators and working collaboratively that way. The other thing that I think about um, and focusing again at this early stage of my commissionership is uh, two things. So the first one is growth. And here, it's not just growth in new markets and new products. Everyone's talking about crypto and everyone's talking about ESG, but it's also thinking about traditional markets. I think that we've seen with a lot of the market volatility issues and some of the market structure implications of that, that we need to make sure that we have deep liquid markets for both traditional and new asset classes. And so that's something where when you have deep liquid markets, you have better uh, risk management, which leads to better price discovery, and hopefully we can have more resilient markets that come out of that. The final theme that I'm looking at right now is really progress. And what does it mean by progress? I think everyone's very excited about innovation. I'm excited about innovation. The CFTC's um, got it part of its mandate to have you know, responsible innovation and fair competition. And so when I think about progress, it's not only coming up with, again, a principles-based, flexible regulatory framework that can adapt quickly to new developments in the markets for, again, crypto assets, ESG-linked derivatives, voluntary carbon markets, I mean, you name it. But I also think that it's important to have progress on some of the long-standing issues that have been in front of you know, the CFTC and other um, you know, international regulators. When you think about the G20 derivatives reforms, there's still you know, some loose ends that need to be tied up. Now, will you be sponsoring one of the advisory committees? I will. I will be sponsoring one of the advisory committees. I was very pleased to announce today that I will be sponsoring the Global Markets Advisory Committee. And again, I think this is where you need global solutions for global markets. Um, I will be announcing uh, some new subcommittees and I will be having a call for members. So I'm really hoping that with that kind of engagement from both the private and the public sector, we're going to come up with some good recommendations where we've already done the hard work in having the consultations, um, having all sides, including you know academic or public interest groups participate and then bringing those to international fora like the FSB, like IOSCO. That's fantastic. Good thing you have a five-year term. You've got a lot on your plate. Best of luck Thank at you. the CFTC. Thanks so much.